not only in Vietnam but also in the world now. Tuberculosis TB has become the greatest on of the government because it's infectious disease yes. and it's easy to transfer from people to people. As the part-time research before in a one university yes. in Ho Chi Minh City, and at that time I faced the problem. Of it has become high the burden of the economy in my country. Yeah. We have the budget in the limited, and we think that we should add on some new medication mm -hmm. inside the universal healthcare coverage. But Vietnam don't have the research before in the costing and the cost effectiveness of treatment. We don't have any evidence about this. What exactly are you researching and how are you planning to imply that to the TB crisis? I do on the cost utility of the shorter regimen in the multi crop resistance of the MDRTB in Vietnam. When they change from the conventional to the new treatment, they will reduce that cost too much. And that's why I, I want to compare this to how much they can save and provide the evidence about the cost, have the government to support and they can control and the cover mm. and how can they affect to the society. So um, I understand they just told me that you have collected a lot of data in Vietnam and you have applied it a lot in your studies here. How has that been? I need to build as the demonstration about mm -hmm. the model first. Yep. And after that, I collect the data in the reality in Vietnam and come back here, come back Bangkok mm -hmm. to data analysis. Mm -hmm. So when I finish the data analysis, I can apply this, not only for the TB, but uh, when I study in here, I can apply in the treatment, in the drug, and in the medical equipment, yes. in the health system. Yeah, you're hitting multiple birds with one stone, which yes. is very impressive. I understand that your research is based on the study of both economics and pharmacy. Yeah. Right. So can you expand on that? Because I'm, I'm not really grasping what exactly is it about? Some people have the background in pharmacies. They not clearly about the economics. When they working in economics, mm -hmm. they not uh, clearly about how to treat, how to using the drug. Mm. That's why in the Mahiran University, I, I think have the good program that we can combine this to become the economics in pharmacies. I can combine together to have valuation and estimate about how much we should pay for the treatment. We feel that if we recover, it's good. Mm -hmm. But how much is the appropriate for us? I can calculate this and how can find out how much is appropriate for the patient. If you want to add more the new medication and it's want to increase up the payment from the government, Mm -hmm. are supporting from the government. They have to give the right uh, of the decision to the government. Uh -huh. I see this model, your research, not only applicable for Vietnam, but a lot of countries in Southeast Asia as well. Um, we'd all like to thank you for joining us today for your talk and yeah, wish you all the, all the best for your research. Thank you.